Okay, our first guest today has performed on some of the biggest stages around the world, has even amazed royalty. He is performing here in the Alamo City for a limited time and comedian, comedy magician, I should say, Matt Marcy is here to give us a little sneak peek of what is going on. Welcome, Absolutely. sir. Thank you, Mike. Okay, a comedy magician. That's right. Whatever you don't laugh at, that's the magic. Ah, very yes. good. <laughs> and there's the comedy right there. So, okay. At so, the Magician's well, Agency I'm, Theater. At the Magician's you? Agency Theater, and I brought some things. I thought we'd start with a card trick, because okay. I'm a magician. And normally I would have you pick a card, but I don't want you to think I would cheat you and make you take a certain card. Never. So why don't you name any card you want? Na name a card. Uh, King of Diamonds. The King of Diamonds. Yes. In that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, this is probably my fault. Um, I asked you to name a card. Yeah. You actually identified a card by the... the the, the value, the king, and the yeah. suit, diamond. And that's what most people do. But cards actually have names. And that's oh. what I was going for. Oh. And uh, they're hard to remember, so I made a kind of a flashcard deck here. Uh, let me start by finding your card. Do you own the king of diamonds? Let's find your king of diamonds in there. Uh, there, no, it's king of hearts. And do you see it in there? Not yet, Let's find no. that king of diamonds. There it is. All right, okay. hand out for me if you would like that. All right, so I actually wrote the names of the cards on the back to make okay. it easier. So the two of hearts, that's named uh, Jonathan. Not a lot of people know that. I yeah. didn't know that. The next no. card, the four club, that's named Chelsea. Weird, right? The two of diamonds is Tiffany. In fact, all of these cards have different names. That's Amy, Susan, we got James, Pat. They're all different names. Ken, Tom's now. I told you it was weird you chose the King of Diamonds, though, because the King of Diamonds, that's the card that's named Mike. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You keep that as a souvenir there, but that's, that's for you, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. And Crazy, right? I, I we know. had not rehearsed anything. No, I never answer. rehearse. <laughs> Just amazing. Okay, okay. you're next. Well, you want I, something else? Yes, I wanted something else. Okay, we'll do one, we'll do one more thing. I can digest that. Di so. Think about that. I brought this with me. This is, I, I gotta be honest, I've been doing magic a long time, and I love it. But being a magician is getting harder and harder. And the reason, I think, is because we live in a world filled with amazing technology. We're jaded. We're used to seeing magical things yeah. every day, right? Our phones, our computers, AI, whatever is going on. It's amazing. So magicians have to stay one step ahead of the science. And that's a bit challenging. But this is, I created this because it's based on a science experiment. Mm -hmm. I did the science experiment, I think, in the fifth grade for the first time. Maybe you did it. Let me show you the experiment. Take a glass. Okay. Some liquid. This is water. You fill it halfway. Maybe a little more. Then you take some paper. Uh, Looks good. Uh, any paper works. This is construction paper. Get the paper nice and wet, and then the paper will go over the mouth of the glass. Have you seen this before? Have you ever done this? Does this look? I think I have. Familiar to you? I kind of have. Yeah. Okay. So, if you do this okay. correctly, this creates something called hydrostatic pressure. Okay. So you can actually, hopefully, turn the glass over, and the paper will hold the water in the glass. Oh. No, it's cool. Yes. yes. But it's just science. Okay. It's not enough for you, is it, Mike? No. I'm a magician. <laughs> I have to go further. Do I have to magic. get rid of the paper. And that's what I do, Mike. I blur the line between what is possible and what is not. Helps to blink your eyes. It's good for them, Mike, yes. <laughs> I don't know which I'm more amazed by, the card trick or that one. I, I don't know how any of it works, frankly. Okay, I, did you always want to be a magician? I have been doing magic since I was about six years old. I probably got a, a magic kit, a little set. I practiced it. When I was a teenager, I got involved at the Magic Castle in California. That's a kind of a club for magicians. And there I learned from some of the greats. So I went to lectures and I read a lot and I worked on my stuff. And then uh, I worked my way through school doing magic shows and then mm -hmm. just decided never to get a real job. It's been good, yeah. <laughs> kind of like being in television. Exactly, right? it's great, yeah. Okay, do you have one more quick little trick that well, we can I, do here? Uh, yeah, I'll show, you, I'll show you one of my favorite illusions. Okay. Um, do, you have a, do you have a dollar on you I can borrow? Yes, I do. Right here. Dollar? Okay, there you go. Perfect, so uh, dollar bill, and I've got a ballpoint pen here. And I'm gonna put the pen between the two halves of the bill, just like this, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna show you an illusion, one of my favorites. It'll look like the pen goes right through the bill. Watch. Looks pretty good, right? You can also hear the illusion. Listen, Mike. But it's just an illusion, Mike, because the bill never actually gets torn at all. Ha! Thanks for the dollar. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell.